Hi, I'm Brian and you're watching Some Place or Another. And today I'm in Auburn, Indiana at the Duesenberg Museum. It looks like I've gone back in time to a Duesenberg showroom to pick out a new car. Well, okay, let's go look around. It's a doozy. I was looking for a coffee mug that said that. Never did find it. This is a Duesenberg Model A chassis. Cool. Seemed like such a classy time. This is a 1926 Model A Touring. I always think of Lycoming as an airplane engine. But this one's a marine engine, and it's a original cutaway from 1930. Well, that's kind of cool. This is the original Auburn company showroom and offices. It's a very detailed ceiling. Cool building. A 1937 Cord 812. Here's something interesting. It had a supercharged Lycoming V8 putting out 175 horsepower. And did you know it was front wheel drive? A 1937 Duesenberg Metal J. Cost 14000 when new. Now that was a very expensive car back then. Cool. I get to sit in this one. The Gallery of Special Interest Automobiles. Well, let's go see what they have. for the passengers. I bet that was fun to drive. Well, let's go see what's upstairs. Wow, I did not realize they had more cars. This is so cool. This wooden frame is a substructure of the Speedster. Most cars made in the 30s had wood in their construction. Interesting. So this 29 looks like that. And inside. Hmm. Look at the wicker seats.
John Dillinger and some accomplices robbed the Auburn police station and stole the submachine gun. Now I'm thinking that was pretty embarrassing for the police officers. Just saying. State police. Watch out. The Overland 595. You like gasoline runabout for daily use. The rig you have been looking for. Actually, I would drive that daily. You a little wet in rain, but hey. Instead of the Great Depression, what was left? Well, looks like not much. <laughs> Seemed rather affordable. Only cost a thousand dollars when new. It had 25 horsepower. Look at the engine. <laughs> this is, this is <laughs> that is small. Okay, I'm in the racing room. It's time to go racing. Okay, I found my ride. It's time to get in there and get going. It's an 03 IndyCar. This looks easier said than done. Okay, that's a tight compartment. Wow. This is kind of unique. Another coil. That's hooked to the radiator. And I'm not sure where that goes. This 1932 Auburn raced against smaller cars like the Model T. Hmm. Gasoline Alley. Duesenberg Model A engine. Hmm. Babe Ruth and his roadster. Uh oh, did it break down again? Looks like he's getting ready to take a swing at it. Here we have, oh, Amelia Earhart's car. And we have oh, Frank Lloyd Wright in his car. This place is amazing. Thirty Ruxton. Okay, this one's pretty unique. does not stop on the outside. Wow. In 
Entering the design studio. This is how rare typewriters are. They're giving lessons. Okay. Well, look at that. It's chain drive. Interesting. That's cool. Hmm. Huh, that's interesting. The engine development room. Hmm, let's go check it out. A transmission simulator. This is kind of cool to watch. The only motorcycle in the joint. That place was cool. I hope you liked the video. I'll see you someplace or another. Bye. Oh yeah, subscribe. <laughs> Stay tuned for more adventure to come. Subscribe, like, share, and thanks for watching. Bye.